What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr. Boz and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you the best way to get 1 to 99 smithing using the most AFK method and also making a nice profit as well. If you're new to my YouTube channel then click on that subscribe button and click on the bell and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a single video I make. So without further ado, let's get into this guide. Get Okay, so today we're going to be smithing dart tips and I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do them efficiently and there will be a couple of things you need in order to do this properly as well. Now there is an option you can do and that is to complete some quests and doing these will get you from level 1 to 37. So the quests will be the Night Sword, Elemental Workshop 1 and 2, the Giant Dwarf, Heroes Quest and Pirate Pete subquest of Recipe for Disaster. And that will give you a grand total of 31k XP, like I said, which will get you from level 1 to 37 smithing. One very important quest to complete in order to even start smithing dart tips, and that is completing the tourist track quest. There's only small requirements, you need 10 fletching and 20 smithing, but doing those other quests I mentioned a minute ago will get you that smithing and fletching level you need. It's not a long quest, but I would advise you getting that quest out of the way before starting this method. Okay, so the only item you'll need, and that is a hammer, so you can smith your dart tips. And the location we'll be doing this is just south of the West Bank in Varrock, as it is the closest anvil on bank. And I'll just show you, so if you teleport to Varrock Square, you just want to go uh, west. And as you can see, there's a bank and an anvil right next to each other, so it's the perfect place to do smithing. Okay, one last thing before we start is, just in case you're wondering why you might be getting a few dart tips at a time, is because per one bar you're getting 10 dart tips, just in case you're curious. So, from level 19 to 34, you need to make 651 iron dart tips. So once you're on this um, section, on the right hand side you've got quantity. So you've got 1, 5, X and all. You just want to click all and then that will give you the option to just left click so it just becomes a little bit more easier and once you have smithed all of those um, you want to sell these to the grand exchange and you'll make 120k profit okay so from level 30 to 54 you need to make 3484 steel dart tips and selling them in the grand exchange will make you a nice profit of 600k also you'll be getting decent XP rates from this moment starting around 40k XP per hour. Ok so at level 40 smithing you can actually do the blast furnace method but as it's not AFK I won't be including it in this guide. So obviously this is just players who just want to AFK and just chill but obviously blast furnace method is the best for making money but it's not AFK. So we're just going to go on to the next method now which will be mithril dart tips okay so from level 54 you can start making mithril dart tips but this time we're going to go all the way to 99 this is the method i done when i was getting 99 and in my experience i feel like i made the most profit sticking to mithril darts instead of going to adamant then rune so from level 54 to 99 you just want to make i'm saying just you want to make 257,000 672 mithril dart tips and that will make you a huge profit of 31 mil with XP rates up to 55k XP per hour which is really good. Now it is a lot of dart tips but just think how AFK this would be. You know you could do so much stuff on the side, you could play other games etc. Um, this took me around two and a half weeks to get this but it all depends on how long you play. So I'd say if you was playing around four hours a day minimum you could get this in about one month but um, if you're a dirty bang up like me <laughs> then probably in about two two and a half weeks so your grand total profit from doing this from 1 to 99 is 32 mil now this might be a little different as the grand exchange prices change all the time now the reason why I picked dart tips um, is for a number of reasons one is extremely AFK with good XP rates two they always sell as people use the dart tips for fletching and three, it's very, very good money. 
and like I said with the 32 mil you could do so much with that and you can just spend it wisely don't you know buy anything silly so that's it guys so thank you for watching my one tonight on smithing guide I really hope this has helped you out um, this is probably one of my most favorite skills just because it's so AFK and I just love AFK and as many skills as possible um, but yeah let me know in the comments how your progress is getting on uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Until next time, I'll see you soon.